What's up everyone? So today we are in the front of the Mini and we are going to start on fabricating that front strut tower brace. Uh, this one's going to be a little more difficult, I think, than the rear. Uh, although there were kind of like more points uh, of where I was tying into on the rear. On the front, the brackets have to go around the top of the struts and there's three bolts on each side they have to line up with. So I have to be a lot more precise because uh, I, mean, I can't just make the holes bigger to make it fit because then it's not really doing anything. It's just gonna slide around back and forth. So gotta make some good templates for this one and hope I get it right. So I've made my first couple marks on the template. Uh, so I know that this piece and this piece need to come out entirely to get some clearance of other parts of the body. So I'll cut these pieces off, put it in again, see what it does. Okay, I've got the basic shape all mapped out. I just need to clean it up, open it up a little bit on the inside here, clean these up. I'm not going to touch anything in here yet, so a lot more of that may come out, but I need to put the bracket for the cross brace somewhere on here. So I want to leave myself plenty of material there right now until I know how I'm planning that out. Got that cut out, and this hole is for driver's side and that hole is for passenger side. Other than that they're completely symmetrical which is really good. I just need to keep track of which one's which on those and that way I don't put the hole in the wrong place. Which as long as I put one in one and one in the other it doesn't really matter because they're symmetrical. Got my template transferred over steel. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> but We'll start drilling holes and cutting it out, see how it goes. I am gonna try, so I bought some metal blades for the jigsaw. I wanna try the jigsaw to see how well I can get it to cut it uh, and hopefully just trace right around it, but we'll see how that goes. Worst case, I can always just grab my angle grinder and use the cutoff wheel and do it that way. See how this goes and we will try them on the mini as soon as they're cut out. The holes cut, they seem to line up pretty well when I put the template on them. We'll see when I get them cut out and I can actually put them on the vehicle, but I'm gonna start cutting them out. We'll see how the jigsaw goes. I've got jigsaw all ready to go with a metal blade in it, so we'll see. Well, it cut for about an inch and a half and then stopped cutting. Probably dulled the blade already, but I'm not going to try anymore with this because I can't go an inch and a half at a time per blade so <laughs> I guess we'll just do angle grinder uh, or cut off wheel on the angle grinder what I probably will do is drill more holes on here so that with the angle grinder I can just cut from one hole to the other because Obviously it's curved, uh, so it would cut through in the center, but probably still not be cut through at the edge. And I don't, I, I can't cut into the part to actually get it to cut through. So what I'll probably do is just drill more holes and then connect the holes with the angle grinder to cut out the center. And then we'll figure out how to cut out the rest of it. Uh, if I had a plasma cutter, this would be really easy because I just plasma cutter it out. But I don't own a plasma cutter. Uh, my brother in law has one, but I'm not going to bug him to do this. And I kind of want to do it right now. So I'm going to grab the angle grinder, start cutting. One of them made. Um, I did thin up uh, a little bit around here, just kind of 
followed the circle a little bit. It's not a perfect circle, but I did it by hand, so it's not too bad. Uh, I did bolt it on the Mini already to double check that uh, it fit and make sure that my bolt holes were in the correct place. It bolts on and fits really well. Uh, did just clean it up. Um, you can see it got really hot there while I was thinning out there, uh, that side and this side. Um, so it got really hot. So that's why I'm still wearing gloves because it's still very hot. Um, but I'm happy with how it turned out. Uh, really close to my template. Which I'll show you guys here. So there, really close to my template. Um, a little bit larger in some spots, maybe, but not not too far off my original plan. So I'm pretty happy with that. I may thin out this side a little bit more. Um, more kind of more straighten it out I guess um, just take some of this area out but I'm gonna wait to do that until uh, I'm actually putting the bracket on here to know exactly where that's gonna sit so I don't want to take out too much so I'm not gonna take out anything on it right now so I'll just leave this as it is until I know exactly where that's gonna sit on here uh, yeah one done Gotta start on the next one. That centerpiece is awful, by the way. Really not fun to cut that out. But I'll probably start on that tomorrow. It's pretty late, so I'll probably just be done for tonight. And come back out fresh and start on this one tomorrow. And hopefully get this one finished up tomorrow so I could start working on the brackets. To get, uh, to mount the crossbeam on. So I wanna get this one finished up so we can start on that. So you guys have a good night and I will see you tomorrow. Well, I've got both brackets made. So I'll show you those. Got both sides. You can see, I actually bolted that one on because I wanted to see the fitment. Um, so you can see the, the marks that the nuts made on it. But anyway, um, uh, both of them are made. I'm really happy with how they both turned out. They look really good, especially for not having a plasma cutter, like getting that hole cut out of the center there was actually a lot of work, uh, but it turned out really good. I'm happy with how it looks. I'm really happy with the fitment. Um, it fits really good, which I'll show you that here in just a second. Uh, but I've got these made. So now I need to make, uh, the upright mounts. So the, the section here, um, with some legs on it where the cross tube actually welds onto. So I'll let you guys see how this mounts in so you can see the fitment on that and then I'll get started on those brackets. So you can see the fitment here actually looks really good. Fits on all three of the studs at the top of the strut. Um, this whatever this little, I don't know, plastic nubbin is. I'm not even sure what that is, but they're on both of them. So I had to cut a hole for those, but it sits really nice, fits really well. Uh, now I just need to start on mounting the cross beams and obviously giving this engine bay a good clean because it's pretty gross apparently. But right now I'm just concerned about getting this made. So let's get started on that. Something I just realized when I mounted them both on is although it sits nice and flat all the way through here, about there, diagonally right across there, it, because this is flat and there is a slight curve to where, to the top of the strut mounts, uh, there is a slight curve to it. So about there, it actually elevates slightly, and I don't want that. I want it to sit nice and, and uh, flush, I guess, with the car. So what I'm gonna do is just cut straight across there, 
uh, just a small cut partially through so I can bend it. Once again, if I had a press break, I could do that, but I don't. So I'm just gonna make a small cut on both of those uh, about halfway through so that I can bend it there and I'll weld it back in. So it won't be quite as strong as if I just left it in one piece, but it'll be pretty close because I'll weld it really well back in there. Um, and then I'll grind the weld so it's all smooth and looks really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that and then retry it back in there. Seems like a lot of extra work, but it actually does sit really nice. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. I've got those pieces in there looking really good. Now I need to start on the next brackets, the uprights so that I can tie them together. So I've got my cardboard. I'm gonna make myself a template and start messing around with it, get it to fit really nice and then transfer it over to steel. template for my upright for the legs there as you can see couldn't make up my mind exactly where I wanted to go but I want to go with this lowest one here um, that gives me about a quarter inch around the tube to weld around it um, and that includes you know up here down here both sides um, and I will round out that peak after I weld it so it'll be a nice smooth edge all the way around there. So I'm gonna get this cut out, see how I like it, and then I'll make it. I think we got it mapped out. Uh, one for each side, and just need to cut them out and double check that I actually have one for each side, which I can see right now that I do, but Double checking, triple checking, whatever. It's a good idea. So, I'm gonna cut out and see what we got. The wife wants me to go inside and hang out with her for a while. So, I'm gonna take a break from this, go hang out with her. Um, I got quite a lot done. It's looking pretty good. I will probably come back out later tonight, maybe tomorrow. All right, it's time to get back on to building those brackets. I'm really happy with how everything's turning out so far. So I'm gonna grab the welder, get the grooves here. I actually cut most of the way through the metal so that I could bend it really easily. So it's still attached on the back side, still all one piece, but I need to weld that back together. So I'm gonna start welding that back together and get that solid again, get it placed where I really like it on these brackets and Get it welded to those. We got those welded solid again and all smoothed out so they look like nice, one nice smooth piece. So now I just have to attach them to the plates and then we can get them bolted back into the mini and we can start on the <clears throat> and we can start on the cross beam. all welded on there got them cleaned up got all the slag back off of there so they're looking really good nice and solid uh, I'm gonna go try them in the mini make sure that they didn't get pulled or do anything weird with the heat and make sure they still fit really nicely um, I'll bolt them in because I'm gonna have to measure between these two points I have to measure between those with them sitting in the vehicle so I know how long of the tube I need to make or how, no, how long I need to cut the tube to go between them. So I will go mount them in there, see how long it needs to be. So it measures out just shy of 39 inches. So I'm gonna measure exactly 39 inches because I want to have that little extra so I can shave just a little um, 
just with the angle grinder, just take a little off and a little off until it fits really snug and perfectly in there to the point that it almost fits or it holds itself in place with no weld. Um, obviously I will weld it, but I want it to be that tight. So I'm gonna me measure it at exactly 39 inches, cut it there, try it, shave a little, try it, shave a little. Um, I also did close the hood while I was over there checking for fitment because I wanted to make sure hood clearance as well because I hadn't checked that yet. Um, I figured it was pretty good based on just a visual uh, check of clearance, I guess. But now that the brackets are all welded together, I wanted to actually physically check. And it looks like I have probably a quarter inch of clearance between the highest peak on that bracket and the hood, uh, the underside of the hood. And since that peak is gonna get smoothed out, as soon as this is welded on, I'm gonna smooth that out so it really matches the contour of the tubing. So it will have a little bit more than that quarter inch, but we've got plenty of space between them. There won't be an issue there. I wanna take you guys over to the mini and let you see what we got going. So we've got the bar in side to side. I gotta put the tack welds on it still, but it sits nice and tight up against the bracket. Bracket sits really nicely. So I guess it's time to tack weld that in. So I got the top side welded and it's sitting really nice. I'm gonna let it cool down before I pull it back out because I don't want it to do anything weird. So I'll let it cool down all the way, then I'll pull it out, I'll weld the underside, and we'll be all good to go. Well guys, that's it. Just our tower brace is made. So it's all welded up, finished, looking really good. Um, obviously, I still need to paint it, but I'm going to wait to paint both front and rear strut tire braces at the same at the same time. If you guys haven't seen the rear strut tower brace yet, check out that video. Um, I'm going to be building an air intake next, so I'll probably paint the tube for the air intake along with these all at the same time. So that'll be a whole separate video of, of actually painting them. I'm going to mount this in the vehicle because I want to drive it and see how it feels, see how, if, uh, how well it's stiffened it up. So I will be mounting it in, but I will pull it back out to paint it. If you guys haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you building that air intake very soon.